grace towards men as they expect men to give to women. Women want grace that we do not give at all. We expect people to accept our bad behavior, our attitude, all of the trauma that we've had in right. our past, our kids, our baby daddies. <laughs> right. We want men to accept all of that. And as soon as you do one thing, that's it. So I do not think that men get the same grace as women. I think everybody makes excuses for us. But yeah, no, I don't. I don't think, think you guys get the same grace as we do. Mm -hmm. And you should, because you deal with a lot more than we do. Women extend what? the same amount of grace towards us. Okay. Shout out to the pygmies in the world. I love you. Shout um, out to y'all. I do, I do agree with her, only because I'd pick. I think that men go through way more than women. I think that women have multiplied it by because their voices are louder, and y'all complain a lot more. <laughs> I think that women, uh, you know, just have the stage right now, and it's like, okay, we need to listen because y'all going through some shit. But female rap ain't as good as male rap. Go ahead. What are you gonna say? I think that men get way more grace than women. You do. I think that men get more grace of being fucking deadbeat fathers. I feel like men get more grace come and on, still come having on with the deadbeat having, conversation. Having the We're ability. still doing a deadbeat conversation. Yep. Cause yeah, cause niggas niggas can be deadbeat dads and still have friends and a girlfriend and a social life and bitches cannot have the same grace. I feel like men get more grace when they leave their families. I feel like men get more grace in in just grace in brokenness in one way or another. Because broke niggas still get bitches every day, which I don't understand how or why. And you're like, oh, you All, should not, you should, you should not, grace not from date who? somebody. They I, what is she from, saying? They get She's grace from society. She's throwing a bunch of niggas shit quotes out there. Like, yeah. oh, niggas is this, niggas is this, niggas is this. And they're what still able have to have to friends anything? and be functional in society. That's not grace. That is grace. Deadbeats should be ostracized from the community. Nigga, we literally just said in this post, in this show... That most children, seventy percent of children are being raised in a two parent. When is the deadbeat conversation going to stop? They are deadbeat. About the I'm not leader, talking about. I'm, I didn't percentage. say. I didn't say that they were the most percentage. But I why just are said we that still they, giving. I'm talking focus. about grace. Don't tell me what not to do. Thank you. I think that. Oh yeah, the drinks is hitting. Me too, though. Mm -hmm. the drinks is hitting. That drink is short. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas in here like, yeah. <laughs> 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 I think that. <laughs> no, I know. In all seriousness, I think that um, I think that men get more grace than women because I feel like women are held to a higher standard when it comes to making average people mistakes. I feel like what? women. I feel like women are held to a higher standard when it comes to making average people mistakes. I think that I women are like given more bail. Women are made, make, people make way, way more ex excuses for women going through shit than they do for men. There is no excuse for a man to be a loser. There is no excuse for a man to be going through shit, but having I feel like weak women moments. Are there is no excuse. Told that we there is no community better. for you that. Should have known better. You there should do no, better. As a victim. As a they come, they huh? talk to you as like, come on, boo, you should have known these niggas. Or every conversation that happens to a woman is, you know niggas this, these niggas that, these niggas that. Exactly. And you should have known better. It isn't about you, women holding you accountable, or women saying like, yo, you should have known better as a person. It's you should have known better as opposed to the opposition, which is the niggas who ain't shit. I feel so like you're still get, being looked at as a victim. I feel like we just get stuck with, uh, with, with a lot of different burdens in a lot of different situations that we are constantly told that we should know better than or we should have done better or you should like we have these conversations even on the show between us when we're talking about little nuances of things it's like well she shouldn't have done this and she shouldn't have done that and she should have known better than this and she should have known better than that but i don't feel like we ever give the same energy when we say men should have known better men should not have done certain things i it, i think it depends on like what guys you're looking at grace in i just don't think that men people care about men as much as people care about women that's true but and that's not grace so it is grace it is grace it is the fact that you can't just because you're born with a penis you're expected to be to be a piece of shit or you're not going to expect to be cared for on a low moment right and just because you're born a woman you're supposed to know the answers to everything as opposed to so yeah I get that. You're a better person. Why right? am I a better person? Why can't I be a, just as much exactly. of a piece of shit as you? I'm agreeing with you almost, right? Because it's like, 
they're going to hold you to a higher standard. Yes. So you're going to get less grace on that. So I, 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 I kind of get that. But at the same time is being held to a lower standard means that you could never, even if you're a good person, you're still being held low. So nobody is going to give you no grace because they're going to think you ain't shit from the I'm gonna start. I'm going to assume the worst. That's they're going to assume grace. the worst. Yeah. They're going to assume the worst of you from the start. You don't get no bail whatsoever. We're, we're, we're having two different struggles. Mm-hmm. Um, That's why I said I think it depends they on the vantage point. They can affect you the same way in a different aspect. Yes. And I get that. I still think women have it better. Y'all think as of women. today. As of today. I don't think so. I think that women are held because you have such community even in strangers. Happy hoes ain't hating. You know why they say that? <laughs> it's because more bitches are going to be there for you than be against you. It's them bitches that look like you, that still got some problem with you, but they ain't really got nothing to do with you. It's like, bitch, why is you on that? Why is you on that? We not on that as a community. Mm-hmm. Of 12 to 1 bitches to men, we support women. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody supporting niggas. Niggas ain't. Women say, yo, I'm not supporting no nigga. You just said a nigga can't come over here being broke. And that's just one way of being supportive. But a nigga can't. You got to have it already as a man. You got to have something. You got to have it already as a man. A nigga ain't going to help you. The women ain't going to help you. You're expected to help. You're expected to have your shit together as a nigga. And ain't no community for you. (laughs) 